When it comes to Bluetooth speakers, there are a lot of choices out there for consumers. Now, if you're in the market for a rugged Bluetooth speaker that you can take with you while you're hiking or camping, I have the one right for you. Hi folks, it's your boy, Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from handyandymedia.com. And today we're gonna to be looking at this really tiny portable Bluetooth speaker from Musin. It's the Wild Mini. And this is really built and designed for people that are in the backcountry, whether you're like uh, camping, whether you're hiking, or just outside all the time in trails. This, my friends, is the speaker for you. Now, in this review, we'll take a look at the design of the Musin Wild. We'll look at some of the notable features of that design, why it would appeal to one person over another. And then, of course, we're gonna do a little audio test, maybe play some of my original music, because if I don't, YouTube will flag me if I play any popular music from the likes of uh, Jay-Z, Kanye, or what have you. They'll sue my ass, so we get to listen to my own music. So without further ado, folks, you know how we do. Sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready, and kill the intro. So let's go ahead and start with the design of the Musin Wild Mini. As I mentioned, they took a lot of inspiration from military radios of the past. It's like something that G.I. Joe would have or, or, or somebody who, who's uh, shopping at a surplus army shop, uh, like the one that I used to go to in downtown Vancouver. Just by looking at it, you can tell that it has this unique compact design that is rugged, which is designed for backcountry use. It has no square edges and a little hook on the top which makes it very easy and comfortable to clip on a backpack or even on your belt clip for that matter if you're taking it out for a hike. Now on the very top, you're gonna find an LED light. Well, that actually is a flashlight and you can activate it by pressing the button on the side over here. And there's three modes. You have a low light, you have a high light, and also an SOS light. And so say in the event that you get lost in a trail, it's nighttime, you can use the light to find your way, but you could also use it, say, if you're like really tired, you gotta go to sleep, you can use and just have it flashing SOS style so that you can get some help. So this really, this, this flashlight feature is a really good thing, especially for anybody that's in the back country. On the front, you do have a couple of dials to be able to turn it on, activate Bluetooth. This circular dial over here allows you to skip tracks or play, replay a track. You can use it as a button as well to stop and start music. But the best feature is this little thumb wheel on the side. As you move it, you can hear the clicking noises and that's very, very satisfying to be honest with you, to hear that tactile feature. A lot of things are so smooth, you really don't know if you're going up or down, you can't really feel it. But this one, you can definitely feel it. This thumb wheel actually adjusts the volume. So we'll do a little test in a bit and you can kind of hear and see how I can adjust the volume by using that thumb wheel. On the side is where you would charge the device. It unfortunately has a micro USB port. Like in this day and age, why do we still have micro USB? Everything should be USB-C. It does have this flap that will protect it. Now you kind of assume this is like waterproof. It has an IPX5 water resistant rating, meaning essentially it can handle rain, but uh, it kind of looks like it has an IPX7, something that can be submerged in water. Do not submerge this in water. It is not designed for that. But if it's on your backpack and you're taking it hiking, you know, rain can hit on it and it's gonna be fine. Now let's go ahead and do a little sound test so you can hear how it sounds like. Uh, hopefully it's still paired to my phone and I got my theme song. So we'll go ahead and listen to that if I can get it on. Here we go. So I'm just gonna scroll the volume. See how loud it can get. Watch this. Gotta be um, pretty impressive for something this small that it can produce this sound. Check it out. Can you imagine being a trail? Playing the Handy Andy theme song. That's how you can be cool. So that again, with the thumb wheel, you can turn it down and up. Super easy. If I want to stop it, I just press this button and it makes that kind of like Morse code sound. It makes that sound every time you want to pair it to Bluetooth. Speaking of Bluetooth, it can only pair one device at a time. So it doesn't have the dual Bluetooth pairing. 
So if you want another device, you have to unpair it first and then pair it, but it will always repair to the last device that it was connected to. So if it's on your smartphone, every time you turn it on, it will automatically pair. So again, who is this for? Definitely for somebody who is hiking all the time out in the back country, could definitely use a flashlight. This would be something that you definitely want to check out. The sound quality is really good. Of course, by virtue of the sound, doesn't have a lot of low end, but it does really sound good. You know, it's got good mids. You can hear the snares, the high, it's bright, and more importantly, it is super loud. Oh look, someone's calling me right in the middle of a review. This is the problem of recording with your phone, having your phone on you all the time. Uh, I gotta take this call, folks, so I gotta go. Once again, if you are interested in a speaker that is designed for the elements, that is rugged, that you can take, small, light, and portable, definitely check this out. It even comes with this heavy duty case to protect it. Not sure really why you need something this big for a speaker this small, but hey, you can't complain if it does come with the case. Once again, folks, my name is Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from Handy Andy Media. We'll see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below if you want your boy to get back to you. Once again, Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, signing out. See you again.